Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the calculator that I use at work. And it's a really cool calculator that that I took from IIT. And it's probably it's one of the ones the NCES recommends also for the PE. So I'm probably going to be using this calculator for that as well. And I just want to talk about the calculators that you should use as an engineer in general. So the calculator that I'm talking about is the F FS FX115, yes, by Texas Instruments. Let me see if I can move this without like, making it very shaky. So here it is. Now, this calculator is very, very cool. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Well, not simple, but it's very straightforward. It has a lot of really cool functions. One thing that I really like is the integral. You can do integrals with this. Uh, you define your upper and lower limits. So if you have like an area or some stuff like that that you want to calculate, you can do that. Uh, there's also a lot of really cool functions that you should read the manual. With, like the manual is pretty straightforward. It doesn't take you more than one or two hours to figure out most of the, the things. But if you want to get really good at it and remember them like you you will it will take you a little longer. It has like like modes to get decimals to get percentages, uh, radians, degrees. It's a really I mean for a, it's like twenty bucks I think or I don't remember I, I bought it a while ago, but it's a really complete calculator for everything that you want to do in engineering. Well, most of it on a daily basis, and this is like my go-to calculator. I also have other calculators. I don't have them here, but I also have. Um, TI-86, that that one is like a more fancy calculator with a lot of with a lot of more functions and stuff like that. That one you can define, uh, uh, how do you say them, variables and you can, do, you can do graphing and stuff like that. Honestly, I don't use it as much because a lot of those stuff, like we have programs that do the graph, like RISA or stuff like that. But if you're in a pinch or you want to calculate something real quick, or I don't know, do interpolation, so like that. It's really nice to have one of those fancy calculators as well. Uh, the problem with those calculators is that you will need to take some time to actually learn it, and you cannot take them for an exam, for example. But those are a really good option to have as well. So those are the two calculators that I have in here at where I only use the 115, the FX, and mostly because the TI 86 that I have, like, uh, it's not working, and they're like a hundred dollars. And I haven't like you know put my money to buy a new one, but this calculator, the the one one X, is really good if you want to take the FE. It's really straightforward, really simple, really clean interface. Uh, you can get the manual for free online, and it, it's probably one of my favorite calculators. I used to I like Casios too, but I haven't found them to be as great as this one. I know I'm talking about calculators like they were like the next big thing, but. Uh, I mean, calculator is a tool that every engineer uses on a daily basis, so you want to have one that is good and that is, you know, affordable and can get the job done. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe and give me a like. Have a good one, guys.